What's up you guys, I'm going to show you all chest rewards in Shang Tsung's throne room and his treasure cache. Most of them cost 25,000 coins and yes, they are absolutely worth it, because they contain intro and victory pose for characters and gear, while the others have got nice augments. In case you don't know, the throne room is located right here on the map. And to open it, you just have to impale 10 severed heads in the warrior shrine. And they don't have to be in any order. Alright, so we're inside the palace and that's the Shansung's throne. So let's get cracking with the chests. Right, about this flaming chest. To open it, first you have to go upstairs and take out the lantern. Now keep in mind that the room upstairs opens when you impale 15 heads in the warrior shrine. Otherwise it will be closed. There is one more chest in the front room to be open, however this one is invisible, it's right under the staircase, and to see it and open it you have to put on Kenshi's blindfold. Tada! There you go!
Alright, so that's all of the chests in the treasure cache upstairs. So now, let's go to the last available room in the palace, which is next to the front. And to make this one open, you will have to collect and impale all 25 severed heads for the warrior shrine. That's a lovely Shao Kahn chest sitting in the prime spot. Let's not be abrupt and ill-mannered. We don't want to start eating the cake from the cherry on the top. So let's keep it for later. And to make it more interesting, we will start from this one. Funnily enough, the stuff for Shao Kahn is not in Shao Kahn's chest. Nevertheless, we're getting there. All right, let's pop that sucker. Alrighty, so that's all done. There is no invisible chest in this room. So there you go. That's all you can get in the Shan Tsung's palace and his throne room. Thank you guys for watching. You can find more guides and tutorials for the crypt on my channel. So feel free to check it out. See you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye for now.